Hello, my name is Monica Legazpi Iglesias. I'm a lecturer in Spanish at the School of Modern Languages and Cultures, and I'm going to talk to you a bit, a bit about what it is like to study Spanish here with us. Let's start talking about learning the language. In first year, you'll be placed in what we call Spanish Language One Beginners if you have no prior knowledge of the language. If, however, you have studied Spanish in school, you will be placed in Spanish Language One Non-Beginners. Students in first year will acquire the building blocks of the language to be able to progress to level two. Acquiring the building blocks of the language means they'll be able to use the language independently and study in their own independent time and progress further. In second year, they're all placed together in Spanish language too. They will learn more advanced structures of the language and then will be ready to progress to spending time during the year abroad in a Spanish speaking country and on their return, they'll be ready to progress to honors. When they return from the year abroad and they study again Spanish with us at honors level, they will explore a wide range of topics and will explore how to produce different text types, orally and in written form. We aim to produce standard Spanish in a formal register. This means this Spanish, this version of Spanish, will be understood by everyone, regardless of their country they come from in the Spanish-speaking world. However, in class, of course, we encourage the use of all linguistic varieties of Spanish. Then, skills. When we teach the language, we practice the four skills. We practice speaking, we practice writing, reading comprehension, listening comprehensions, and... Uh, comprehension and our teaching methodology is holistic in the sense that we try to use in class a communicative me method. We prioritize interaction and creating a dialogue with students to learn and revise vocabulary or structures, but we are very much aware of the fact that students need to understand how the language works. So there are this time there are classes where we will practice grammar acquisition or we will reinforce uh, the learning of grammar. So let me show you a few examples of those interactive elements, in this case at pre-honors level. So for instance, this could be a use of Mentimeter to ask a question where we could be practicing vocabulary. So playa, beach, tree mountain, so we're ask, asking what is it, looking at the image, or we could be practicing, reinforce, reinforcing the use of to be, what is it, case. Then where is it, talking about location, and the image, the visual reinforcement of a highland cow to point towards the right answer, which is Scotland. We could be practicing um, grammar content and discussing gender of nouns. So the word half, la mitad, is a female feminine noun, yes or no. So it's quicker, it's got visual reinforcement, it's fun. So let's talk about contact time and group sizes. So beginner students in first year have four hours uh, of contact time per week and they are not required to study culture that year. However, if they would like to keep the paths to honors open, they would be they will be required to study culture in second year. So in second year, they would do Spanish language two, Spanish culture one, and Spanish culture two. Um, Spanish one non-beginners have three contact hours per week. Spanish two have three contact hours per week, and honor students have three contact hours per week. How are those hours divided? Mm -hmm. One of those hours is a language reinforcement, a, a, an, an opportunity to talk about grammar. And because of space and resources, it usually takes the form of a lecture, but it will be interactive regardless. And then two more hours, three in the case of beginners, of 
language skills where we will be practicing speaking, we will be doing more grammar exercises, reading, a bit of writing. Group sizes. The lectures will have between 50 to 70 students on, on the list. Um, present, it may vary, <laughs> a few, um, fewer students probably. And then for language skills, we try to cap um, capacity at 15. Sometimes there'll be fewer students in the group. All the information regarding uh, what's going to be happening in class, um, information regarding the course, the format of the examination, the contact, uh, you know, the syllabus content for each week, all that will be available in Moodle, which is the virtual learning environment. And um, this means that depending on, the, on their needs, students can do as much work prior to attending class as they would like to. Guidance and support. We will guide you along the way. We will give you all the information. We will guide your learning. Uh, there'll be opportunities for support so that you create a routine and a, and a discipline of work. Because with languages, it, it, it's very much the case that if you don't use it, you lose it. You cannot cram everything before the exam. You have to practice regularly. And then assessment will be explained. There'll be no surprises. There'll be, you know, a chance to have a look at past papers, to discuss the format of the exam, um, to discuss the assessment criteria. So it's it's it so that everything is clear. What about culture? Culture, uh, it's the opportunity to um, develop your intercultural awareness. There'll be discussions and guidance on essay writing skills and your critical thinking will be put to the test. At pre honors there are thematic blocks on different periods and genre, genres. And uh, for instance, the examples of those blocks for culture one are, are popular culture, reading the canon, city spaces, national histories. And as far as possible, there's a balance of texts from Latin America and from Spain. In culture two, the topics, the blocks are imagination and fantasy, nation and community, gender and performance, space and location. The way this works is that these blocks um, are the same for all the languages within the School of Modern Languages and Cultures. So whenever a block starts, your first lecture, it will be one on the background, on the general knowledge necessary for that block. And it will be called core lecture, and it will be the same lecture for the students of all the languages in the school. Then the following week, there'll be a specific lecture for Spanish on that topic, and then uh, seminars uh, to discuss it uh, for further discussion. What happens at honors? There's again a wide variety of topics involving Latin America and Spain, and the honors options are closely connected to the expertise of the members of staff. So examples of Topics are film studies, literature, history, sociolinguistics, cultural studies, migration and engagement with the community, translation, interpreting, etc. Thank you.